Hey, my beautiful souls, welcome back to Refining with Jesse, the life coach. So, today is all about organizing a small pantry. When you have a small pantry in very limited space, it becomes very hard to keep your things organized. So, today I'm going to be sharing some tips and tricks on some of my favorite storage units and storage containers I use to keep my stuff organized because I have a very small pantry and I know that the struggle is real. I know how hard it is to get everything in, to keep everything organized, to keep everything within view, to keep everything nice and cleansed. So today I'm going to be sharing exactly how I do it, why I do it, and how it helps me save money, save time, and save my sanity. So let's get started. So one thing I have in my pantry is some sliding pullouts. And if you're starting from scratch or you're starting anew to get organized, this is the best investment for your cabinets. It helps with accessibility and to save money because you can see what you have. My second tip and something I do in my own personal cabinets is align them. Now this is gonna preserve your cabinetry. Cabinets are expensive and you wanna make sure you're protecting your cabinets from nicks, from scrapes, from spills, from stains. So this is something that happened in my cabinetry. Something spilled in my cabinet and I'm gonna talk about it in a few minutes when I get on camera. Even though I'm sick, but the message has to be out. So many people skip steps like this because they don't want to take the time. I am one of those people, I have to admit, that I did not want to do this. And I am so grateful and happy that I actually took the time and took the money to invest in liners. So one thing I would suggest is if you buy liners, make sure you buy a few extra. So as time goes on, if you need to cut another piece, you need to realign your cabinets. You have them right on stock. And the majority of the time when you buy liners, it's hard to find the same type. And me personally, with my little OCD, I like to have everything the same. So I definitely would suggest that. So I'm actually just, I just finished cutting a piece. I'm just going to reline my cabinet. And what I do is I always cut a little bit of extra and I fold it so it can be precise. I don't like the edges um, seeming all like wonky and just different proportions. I done it in the past. So I hate the way it looks. So just passing on those tips and tricks for people who are lining for the first time. So it's story time guys. So while using storage containers in your pantry and in your fridge and places like that in the kitchen, it seems aesthetically pleasing. It's beautiful. I've mentioned this before and you know, it does look nice. It makes everything look nice into alignment and it looks beautiful to look at, but it serves a bigger purpose than that. Everything's deeper, right? We go deeper here on this channel. And I'm going to give you an example of why that is so with my own pantry because I'm not going to mention any names on camera. They tell me not to, but in this household, I like to keep my oils and things of that sort, like these type of bottles. I like to keep it in storage containers, uh, just for easy access to see what I have, to make sure it's not spilling. And I'm going to show you why that is so important because someone in this house came and took this bottle and used it right out of here it was a new bottle instead of pouring it into the container it was supposed to be in and it made a disaster <laughs> a disaster and i'm going to show you what that looks like so yes containers could be an investment yes they take time to shop for but this container let's say if this was poured into here and this would have spilled over when we were pouring it you know it was coming out of the spout what we would have seen was a balsamic vinegar traces of it pouring down the bottle and so it would have been easier to spot right because it's white so if it's white or it's clear you can easily see the stain marks when you pour it and it just like it's overflowing versus it coming from a dark bottle, the bottle that it came with, it's actually the color of the balsamic vinegar is the same color of the bottle. So what happened is that it spilled, it poured ore down here, it went straight down to the bottom, got stuck here, they put it in the cabinet tree and then it marked the whole bottom. Not only that, but the person was having a salad, so they had the, the croutons and look at the bag, look how the bag looks. So this is why containers can be so important they're so useful to maintaining the cleansiness of your pantry so my beautiful souls that is my little teachable moment so many people do not understand why people like myself go and pour oils into other bottles to them it's pointless but it, it really is not that's one of the reasons why we do it one of the main items that creates such a mess in pantries is oils 
So for my oils, I like to keep them in these large bottles. I got these bottles in Home Goods. So if you're in the market for some oil bottles, these are great. They're pretty large and I keep different oils in my pantry. So these are a few that I keep. And then I have some smaller uh, bottles for different type of liquids, like for my vinegar. I pour it into the stainless steel and glass containers and these are great for when guests come over I could just hand them these bottles versus you know the ugly <laughs> oil and vinegar bottles and I keep my balsamic vinegar in the other that is the <laughs> the oil that made a mess in my pantry and then for things like white wine like cooking wine and other oils I keep them in these two containers and What's great about this is they're decorative, so I could use them also as little accent pieces around my kitchen, and I'll show that in a in a little bit. But um, I love these sets. I don't know who's it by, to be honest. It by, might be by Rachel Ray. It was a gift from my mom. Now this little contraction-looking thing, <laughs> which I like to call it, houses my cereal. So on the top, it has a section that you know it just lifts. You pull the cereal right in, and then at the bottom, it has this little turning device and you just put the plate under and you're just able to take out your cereal so I keep this in my pantry It's pretty large and I actually don't remove it I actually use a stepper if I'm by myself to go up there and get cereal if it's for me so this next item is my solutions to holding my potatoes and things of that sort so it's a three-tier sliding basket organizer drawer it's from a company called Simple Houseware and what I love about it, it has three separate sections and each section slides out. So I'm able to separate items. So on my lower basket, I keep my potatoes and then um, I keep a different in a different section, I keep my sweet potatoes and then in the other section, I keep like my small cooking potatoes. If you saw my fridge organization video, you noticed that I kept my potatoes in the fridge and that was just because I was cooking so much of it and now things have changed, so I changed my system. So let's talk about organizers. So this is one of my favorite type of organizers. I just love how it really seals the food and I love that the handle is acrylic, so it gives it a nice elegant look to it. So for organizers um, of this sort, I use it to house like my tostitos. <laughs> Um, it really helps to just maintain the freshness of the food and my tostitos never get stale. I also have the smaller versions of them and I use them for like powder mixes and things of that sort. What I also like about this collection is that it comes in a variety of different sizes which you can see here. So typically the food organizers that I use in my pantry are for food items that once they are open, the box and the container that it comes in, it doesn't maintain its freshness. Like the crackers, once they are open, they are open and they're able to get stale. I also keep like pasta and in another uh, organizer, I keep um, taco shells and things of that sort that once they are out of the box, like if you push them or if it tilts over it's gonna make a complete disaster in your pantry so that's usually my rule of thumb so for my pastas in general I usually like to use the OXO pop-up containers I just love the way they seal as well they keep my pastas nice and fresh they're pretty um, large within the depth so it usually hold more than one box of pasta so I love using them they fit perfect in my pantry like I said my pantry is very small so I have to be very particular in which containers I use what I also love about the OXO uh, storage containers is they come in many different sizes it has a great variety of different variations of how big how small the depth and all of that so I love the smaller ones to use for like my little snacks like this is some mango slices I like to use them for like the nuts for my salads and things of that sort so this storage container is an Odie but goodie I love it because it has glass and stainless steel so you can still see how much of the spaghetti you have in the bottom this is one of my first storage units and I still have it to this day and then when it comes to like my angel hair and my linguine like more long you know um, proportion pastas I actually just picked up these two uh, containers I got them from home goods and they seem to work well so they are definitely a keeper now these type of organizers I picked them up from the container store and what I love to use these organizers for is my grains 
it works perfect for rice so you could control the portions that you are putting in because of the top it has that sliding mechanism and, and it's the perfect size because it's not too large or too small like um the oxo pop-ups they they there's no portion control so those are good for like pastas and things of that sort if the pastas were in this container it would literally get stuck because pastas you know is usually larger so this is perfect for like my white rice my brown rice my quinoa so that's what i keep in these type of organizers it's great also because it helps me control my rice intake i usually buy the bigger bags of rice and then i have a bigger container for that and a separate section that i have in my garage that i store all my extra bulk items for food and stuff of that sort so these organizers i picked up from ikea and i love them for things like oatmeal and here's a tip which i just showed is if you need the instructions just cut out the back Put it inside and that's a great thing about having clear containers but i love these containers because it's very similar to the type of containers that i use for like my starches for my rice and things of that sort on the top it has a smaller section where the food comes out so that's great because it restricts it you have more control of what is being poured out with oatmeal and rices you need a smaller spout or smaller section that the food is coming out of to be able to maintain the control because the food items are so small right so you know it's very separate from like i said like pastas and things of that sort because they're larger so you could control it a little bit better so i like to keep all my like morning type of foods in here so you'll find my oatmeal in here i also have like pancakes and things of that sort and once again i cut out the back so if anyone needs to make pancakes or oatmeal and they don't know how to do it well the instructions are right on there so this organizer i picked up at home goods and i keep my extra type of oatmeal in this type of jar and to maintain portion control because the opening is much larger and so that's why i have the scoops to help with that I also keep my croutons in these type of jars with also the acrylic scoops. Now this is how my croutons are normally stored and I don't keep them in the bag because I can't see through the bag and I can't see what I have. And once again, when something spills, it gets all over bags. So this is a no-no for me in my pantry. And what I love about these specific jars is that it comes with its own label. It's not something I put on. It was just, it's attached to the jar and you're able to just erase what you have on there and just rewrite on it with a chalk pen which i find super convenient because sometimes i switch a lot of things out once again since i have a small pantry sometimes i have to switch things around like normally like i said i would keep all my uh, breakfast foods in a different type of uh, organizer but it doesn't fit and so these are the uh, smaller types and I keep like soups and things like that because once again with the soup packages I can't see through it so I don't know how much I have so this is a great way to see everything I have. And with those smaller acrylic scoops I put them in these jars as well to help with portion control. Now when it comes to crackers that's another thing that makes a terrible mess in a pantry so i picked up this organizer i mean this is so old i picked this up years ago from i don't even know who <laughs> it could have been like somebody settling like avon or something like that or maybe chocolates or maybe pamper chef i don't even know i don't even know if pamper chef still exists but that's i got it from one of these places and it's been the best little investment because it helps with like organizing crackers so now when it comes to cans, risers are going to be your best investment. And this specific riser actually slides in and out. So it is adjustable. And then on the top, it has a grip pad. And I love that it actually matches the gray that I have going on in my pantry and within my kitchen. So I actually keep this one in the back. I have a small section for cans. I actually don't eat a lot of canned food, to be honest. I don't eat a lot of processed food, to be honest. And you'll see one of the reasons why my pantry stays very organized is because I don't have a lot of junk food in my pantry. Once I changed the way I eat, it changed everything that I had in my pantry. But risers are a great way to organize your cans because you can see everything you have. This is another riser I have. This one is actually not adjustable, but it works just as great, all the same. And so I have two of them in my pantry. So I'm just going to stack up all the cans that I have. I'm going to get it all organized or in alignment. And then we're going to move on to my next organizer. So this organizer I picked up at Home Goods, and what's great about it is that it has a divider. And so what I use this for is to store my seasoning packets. So I take them out the box and I leave them loose in the back. 
and then in the front I actually use the front just to store a few of my spices now these are all just extra spices from like Thanksgiving cooking and things like that you all know how when you get a new recipe they want you to buy a new type of spice so that's what I have here so I normally organize my spices a different way you'll notice in my pantry I have no spices if it's your first time here and you're interested to know on um, how I save space with my spice organization, I'll link the video here. I think it's called kitchen, small kitchen organization tips or something of that sort, but I have it all detailed there. And so I have a secondary uh, organizer that mimics the first one. The only difference is that it doesn't have a divider and I keep a lot of my marinades in that one. So let's talk about pods and teas and sugars. So once again, this is a lot and I don't have the space. So one tip I would suggest if you are in a similar category and something I do in my own house is I take these things out and I have a separate section for it. So once again, I speak a little bit about this in that kitchen, small kitchen organization video. But today I'm going to speak a little bit about the organizer. So one thing I added to this section that's not in that video is a riser, a glass riser. So it's great because it just adds extra space. And then when it comes to all my teas, you saw all those teas I had on the counter, by getting an organizer that keeps it nice and organized, I get to eliminate all those boxes. And not only that, but when guests come over, I actually have a nice, neat and clean presentation. So when guests come, I can literally just stack these two organizers with the K-cups and all the teas, and they actually can help themselves. And one thing I like to have for my guests is a variety of different types of flavors and choices for them. And I'm a big tea drinker myself. There's no life coach that I think that you shouldn't be drinking tea. It just helps us calm ourselves. One thing that we deal with is a lot of emotions, a lot of healing, a lot of um, just heavy energy. So I definitely am all about positivity, you know, stress relief and things of that sort. So I love having just a nice organizer that keeps everything nice and organized when I need it. I have it. I can see what I need. I can see what I'm running low in. So this is why organizers are so important. People, a lot of people just think it's all about the aesthetics and how it looks, but it's really not. It's all about saving yourself money because when you can't see what you have, you buy double of it. So on the other side, on the other drawer, I have these two organizers and they are from Ikea. And one houses all my different types of sugars and, and the other houses all different types of drink mixes. So like if you want to drink water and you want to give it some flavor, I have some crystal lights in here. But as you can see, everything's nice and organized. And when guests come, they have, once again, a variety to choose from. So everything's nice and organized. But the important part is, is that it gives me so much space back in my pantry. If I had all these boxes in my pantry, it would take up a lot of space. Once again, my pantry is very small. So we are near the end and I'm going to start putting everything into my pantry and organizing it. So when I do food shopping, I obviously don't take everything out. I just, you know, refill and organize and clean what I need to clean. So I'm going to start just refilling some of the last things that I need to refill and putting it back. I'm just going to label certain things. And once again, um, I have those chalk labels, so it's easy to um, label since my organizers are so small it makes more sense to um, invest in um, organizers that already have labels attached and something else that i invest in in my pantry is labels that i can erase and write on and i picked those organizers up from the container store and they just work like a gem for a lot of times like I said when you have a small pantry you might have to adjust things and you know take things from one organizer to the other and things of that sort so this is the label I'm speaking about and it works great for me because I'm not wasting labels you know back and forth and peeling things on and off I actually just erase it and rewrite it so this is the end result this is what my pantry looks like on my top layer I keep all of my oils I keep that cereal container I actually showed you guys in the beginning um, behind my tortito <laughs> um, organizer I have those uh, large pasta organizers and so up here I keep all of the big things the things that are tall the things that are heavy and in the middle I just keep it nice and empty because I could just slide my cereal bowls and I actually spoke about this organizer in another video, but this is my little hidden gem for some of my spices um, that I don't want seen. 
and then this is my secondary section where i keep my cans the third is where i keep like my bottles and then my fourth section is where i keep um my fourth and fifth section is where i have the slide outs and then on the bottom i have that organizer that houses all the potatoes so you can see everything has its home everything is easy accessible i have yes a very small pantry but if you keep your things nice and organized it just flows nice the pull outs add a nice touch because you're not you know putting everything into a dark black hole everything's nice and labeled everything is nice and organized and there's no spillage which is the big my big thing i'm not spending time cleaning things you can see just like on the bottom just having those slide outs it's easy to just pull out so i don't have to do a lot of bending on the side of it i actually have just some um, plantains and just a plastic organizer so everything is nice and organized and then i have these little just little sections around my house that i keep my uh cooking wine on the top of my fridge i have a bread box that just matches the aesthetics of my kitchen and keeps everything nice and contained and organized and then by my stove i keep one of my oils for easy access and it matches once again the aesthetics of my kitchen so let's talk about honey because honey is one of those items that makes a mess in a pantry so having an organizer for your honey it's just imperative and it helps with space and as well it's a great presentation when people come over and they want to drink tea versus giving them a plastic sticky bottle so that's it guys that is my whole pantry it's why i do what i do <laughs> it's how i do what i do and and on the bottom section those things on the side that's colorful those are cutting boards so i have a smaller cutting board in front i have larger cutting boards in the back and once again it's easy i don't have to bend much all i have to do is just stretch out my arm and i can easily get a cutting board and so that's my pantry guys that's everything and that's how i keep organized and once again keeping organized it's all about saving yourself time saving yourself money saving yourself and hassle yes it takes time yes it takes patience yes it takes money but in the long run you always saving so my beautiful souls if you like this video definitely give me a thumbs up if you're a newbie and you watched this far definitely hit that subscribe button and become part of our tribe and i will see you all in my next one love and light